What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to clean your bike indoors. So if you're a commuter and you haven't got anywhere to maintain or clean your bike, it can become messy when you're doing it inside. Well, fear not, because we have a range of products that's gonna help you overcome that problem. So the first thing we need to do is think about location and I've chosen this spot in a very well ventilated area next to the entrance door. But before we clean our bike, we need to put the bike mat down because this is gonna help protect the carpet and collect all the dirt and grime that falls off the bike. Let's go. To clean the chain, I'm going to be using the chain dock with biodegradable chain cleaner and these two combined will give your chain a deep clean, containing all the dirt and contaminants inside here. Totally mess free. So the chain dock is very easy to use, it comes with a trigger and a button at the top of the cam and all we need to do is put it over the lower part of the chain, clamp down with the trigger and then push down the button whilst pedalling backwards. and look at all that grime that's come off the chain. Next, we're gonna run the chain through a cloth to get rid of any excess left on the chain. To clean the rest of the bike, we're gonna be using the waterless wash, which is gonna help lift all that dirt and grime without the need for a hose. It's also gonna leave a streak-free shine. Using the waterless wash is very easy, and when applying it to the bike, make sure that you're spraying it downwards to avoid any overspray. Now we've sprayed the waterless wash over the entire bike, it's time to wipe it away. I've just finished cleaning my bike and it doesn't end there as I now need to protect it. I'm going to be using MO94 and I'm going to be spraying this onto all my bolts and components to avoid rust and corrosion to extend the life of my bike. If you have disc brakes like the ones on this bike then you will need to cover them as any overspray from MO94 will make your brakes less effective. So now I'm going to spray MO94 on all the moving parts and bolts. It comes with a straw so you can be pretty accurate too. So now I'm just going to wipe off any excess. I've just protected my bike and now it's time to lube my bike. I've got a dry weather lube as lubricating your chain will make your bike run and feel smoother. It will also improve the life of your chain too. When we're applying our lube we need to apply it to the chain and we need to do it to the lower part. And when we are applying it we always need to make sure that we're pedalling back ensuring that every single link is covered for a smoother ride. And that is our three-step clean protect lube process on how to clean your bike indoors. Thanks for watching.